obviously not being uploaded, but this is take two of our race. The date New Hampshire road course didn't work out. So we take the Custom Cup to a new track, Circuit of the Americas, and we've got a very fun... As far as laps go, it's shorter, but if you look at the mileage and the lap times on this track, we've got ourselves a very exciting race coming up from Circuit of the Americas. Now, we're going to take a look at the practice and qualifying results and the drivers to watch for. No ride along today due to the lap, and most of you should probably know what this track is like by now. Carter Simser. He was the fastest car in practice, and he, but he didn't qualify his best. He'll roll off 15th from the grid, but he was the fastest car in practice, which means this car has some speed in it. What now? And the other driver to watch for, he starts on the pole, and in practice, he had a very solid run in practice. His practice run was fourth place, so this Addison Stone car is very fast, and he bounced back after a hard Daytona 500. And the rest of the top 10s for you, of course, Simser, Dave Hansen, Ben Hammer, Addison Stone, Alan Hansen, Hayden Cola Giovanni, Michael Mall, Mason Simser, Adam Hammer, Adam Hammer, and Ben Hammer at the top 10 in practice. The top 10 in qualifying, obviously Addison Stone, Grayson Getz, Mason Simser, Alan Hansen, Barb Hansen, Joey Smota, Michael Mall, Dave Hansen, my, my, Matt LeClaire, and Dom Summers, and then Ethan Hansen last week's winner does roll off right behind those guys in 11. Now, it's going to go track side for the command to start the engines from Coda. Engines. The command has been fired from Coda. And we are going to be pacing around this 3.426 20-turn, 45-mile-an-hour pit speed, Austin, Texas road course. Addison Stone and Grayson Getz will bring them to the green flag from Circuit of the Americas. The cars are pacing into the final corner, and then it'll be a long straightaway up the hill into turn number one. Addison Stone and Grayson Getz on the front row. And the green flag is in the air from Circuit of the Americas. Do they dive around coming up the hill in the turn number one? Not much of a dive. Look at that. There's a couple cars mid-pack diving around. There are a couple cars going wide. They're going to go three wide there as they're going to come down the hill into turn number two. Grayson Getz, they're still side by side for the lead. Look at them fan out coming down the straight. The driver's really giving each other room. Addison Stone's going to clear the 21 of Grayson Getz into the chicane now. The field still mainly side by side, but back in front, it's single file for the field. Addison Stone and Grayson Getz out front. And then in third, that's Mason Simser in the two. Addison Stone had a terrible Daytona 500, but he is having a good start here in Coda. One of the fan favorites. Is that Ethan Hansen? Who had, did he have that great start? There is Ethan Hansen as we go back in the field. Oh, they're going to stack up there. There is some contact there between the 7 of Luca Marina and the 12 of Carter Simser. Those cars are going to go three wide down the fastest part of the track. That's going cool. under the bridge. But back ahead. Oh, was there more contact there? Someone had to slide. Someone went wide there. That's the 31 of Joey Sabota. He started fifth. That's not where he is right now. I can tell you that. Addison Stone ahead, but not by a ton. End of the final set of corners. He's starting to build a pretty decent gap. Over that 21. And the two has ran down the 21. And Addison Stone starting to pull away. And let's see how big the lead is. We're going to get a, our first full flyby of the day. While well, the cars are still close together. That lead about 
but it's going to be listed as eight tenths of a second. Ethan Hansen started 11th. That's where he is right now. Addison Stone with the lead. Let's see if there's any battles on the track right now. For the most part, more single, all single file right now. There's one little battle. As we work our way through the field. And now we're going to check in on where the top five is after our first lap from Coda. So the top three remain the same. There was one change in fourth and fifth. That 24 car started fifth. He's in the fourth. And that's the eight of Alan Hansen who passed him. The field's starting to separate here at Coda. Who's that? Off the pace, that's Addy Sabota. 18 seconds off everyone else. Issues for that 43 car. Oh, I will soon. So we're all single file still. Almost, oh, that's not going to end well. Oh, the 18, that's a great move. And that's Lucas Hansen. He started second. He, he was relatively quick he started 13th actually he's still in 13th that 16 car able to hold on to that position and that's that 31 car started eighth and i think is about to lose another spot the six of dave hansen's going to go around the a the eight of alan hansen here if he can complete the pass and there goes the six making a move in front of the eight As they're going to work their way down the main straight into turn one. Fields mainly separated. As they're going to work their way up the hill, Addison Stone's lead up to 1.12 seconds. But that six of Dave Hansen just ran his fastest lap of the race. Still no side-by-side -side action. We're going to go on the in-car camera of the 18 of Jack LeClaire. Around the Circuit of the Americas. As this is the fastest part of the track is this corner right here. Well, the corner before that. The cars in the back are relatively close together for a road course, but up ahead, that lead for the 15 is starting to grow, is starting to get bigger for the 15. And he's off the final couple corners. He's coming in the final couple corners on lap three already. Dave Hansen, one of the fastest cars here right now. He's trying to get into fourth. Ethan Hansen, our Daytona 500 winner, is running 11th still. That's going to give you some aerial views of the track. Through these couple corners. And now, as we're coming to lap four on this track, Addison Stone with the lead. Hang on. We're going to be right back. Enjoy some aerial coverage of Addison Stone's lead. The aerial view of Addison's up to almost two second lead, and then Grayson Getz is starting to build a gap on the third placer. And the whereabouts of Ethan Hansen, he's still right where he started, running a still solid 
11th out of 31 cars. As he, on lap 4 out of 11, is doing his best. You can see there's no, after the top 3, there's no big gaps between cars. Except, of course, for that 43 who had had has been struggling the entire race. As we have a little battle here for the 15th position, the 7 trying to get by the 12. We have too many cars to do that now. Yeah. And now, the 7 has fallen off the 12. 25 almost took a peek to the inside of the 20. He is actually going to take a peek to the outside. A lot of speed from that 25 car carried into that corner. Now the 20 is going to get a huge run off the corner. What happened to the 23? Did the 23 have a good practice session? We have some data here. The 23 was not very fast at all. He was 26th in practice. And my guy, qualified. he qualified 19th. He's actually in 17th, so he's actually fast. That 20 car is able to get by him. Yeah. As you take a look at how separated these cars are getting up the hill, Gavin's going to fight back there on that high side. We turn one. and go on board with him for this battle with this 20 car for the 17th position. And now I think the 20 is going to have him here. They're the S's. And that 20 is going to have him. As the cars work their way through these S's, this is a fun track. Good road course. If you take a look back up front, the lead has grown at 2.2 seconds for the now pulling away 15, who will look like if he doesn't rack, because it is a no-stop race with the lap times. If he doesn't blow a tire or something, he'll probably win this race. But how much does it do for points, considering how bad he was in the Daytona 500? He'll definitely be in the conversation, but I don't think he'll be points leader just yet. And the other thing is, Ethan Hansen's still running a solid day. I bet the way he's running, he'll still be in the top, at least two in the points. But if I remember, Grayson Getz was second in the Daytona 500, so he'll probably have the points lead. As the field is starting to separate now. Car is still visible, but it's definitely starting to separate here on a cloudy but be perfect 70 degree day. It's breezy but and cloudy here in Austin, Texas. As we're gonna go now, take a look at all the cars coming up the hill. Our first flyby of, in a while. Cars still pretty separated, but they're not separated as much as they were. As you see all the cars coming up the hill, there is that last car. As you go back through the field, fastest lap still belongs to the 15. But that 6 car isn't running him down, but he is running down the 24 car in front of him. Second fastest car in the track right now isn't even in second. The second fastest car in the track is the six car. And he is running down that 24. We're going to have a battle for fourth here. Probably pretty soon with the speed...
no caution, no crashes yet in Coda. The the field is starting to separate. I don't think we're gonna get one, unless we get like an engine failure or something. We forgot to mention the race name. This is the the um, Cattle Ranch Grand Prix of Austin, Texas. Because races like this at road courses, they usually just say Grand Prix. This is the Cattle Ranch Grand Prix of Austin, Texas. As Addison Stone comes off the final corner once again. And well, across the stripe, we're gonna get a flyby of this gap. There's Addison Stone. And then there's the second placer. The gap grew, but not by much there. And that six is really starting to run down that 24. Cars come into the S's here, one of the hardest parts of this track to master. Still no side by side action. As you take a check in on the 43 of Addie Sabota, who just crossed the start finish line with that bad car, and the hood on that car is missing. So something must have happened to that car at the start of the race. Yeah, and then, of course, it's the big lead for that 15. That is up to 3.4 seconds. You can't even, from this angle, you can't see him. There he is out there. As the cars are really starting to separate now. They're starting to get into a spot. Oh, wait, we might have a battle for ninth here. The 17 of Matt LaFleur has ran down the 10 of Don Summers for ninth. We get a dive bomb here. Much better corner entry. But he had to check up. That's going to enable the 9 of Ethan Hanson to almost get under the 17 there. A battle for 10th starting here. Now it's going to settle down as that 10 car gets a run off the corner. As that's off the corner there. And the 10 is going to start building a gap. But now the 30 is knocking on the door of 9 here for 11th. And coming into another big... Not a bit, not the greatest passing opportunity on the track. But only a couple more corners before we get to turn 1. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a dive bomb. From the 30 in turn number 1. And the 9 car is going to get a pretty good gap down the straightaway. Do we get a dive bomb from the 30 up the hill? Nothing from the 30. No side-by-side -side action still. We have a couple cars relatively close together. If the cars come under the bridge. Another check-in. On that 6.24, the 6 is, run, is starting to run down the 24. The 15's lead up to about 4 seconds now. Starting to run away with it. There he is. There you see him coming off the corner, way out in the distance. What? What? Uh, yeah, a surprise. Well, we knew he would get a win eventually. We know what happened in season one at Willow Springs. He dominated the race. He dominated the race here. This 15 is really making himself known as probably the best road course racer at the moment in Custom Cup. Now, we know the last Custom Cup got terminated. That was issues with flash drive got bent. We cleared up some storage, so these races will not be on a flash drive. So the only way we'd lose them is by accidentally deleting them. So we haven't decided in a race length. We'll probably do like 20, 20 race season. Yeah. 
as up front, there is the 15. As there is not any battles on the track, this is really starting to shape up to be a boring race, like we just said earlier in the race. Road course races can get boring. This one has been pretty good. But yeah, the camera work here by whoever made this track is good. As the cars come off the final corner, and they're working their ways up the hill on the turn number one. Does the, does the six of Dave Hansen go for fourth place? There is only three laps to go now. Coming down the hill. I'm just going to have one now before I get too much caffeine before bed. As the field was going to work their way off the S's. I know. Vanilla? I like vanilla. Alright. Here we go. There is the 15. We're going to go to our rear bumper camera of the 15 on board. There is the rear bumper camera. There's nothing there. On the fastest part of the track there. Did we see the next car behind him? We saw him there for a split second. Now we'll go to the front bumper of the 21. There he is, way out there, rounding that corner. Now in the final corner. Addison Stone just two laps away from being back in victory lane in the Custom Cup. Coming up the hill to turn one with two laps to go. Do we get any side-by-side -side action in these last couple laps? Do you guys get aggressive trying to get just a couple extra points? That six has been on the 24's bumper all day. But really just hasn't found the right time to make that move. And the 24 did build a good gap on the six. And that nine of Ethan Hansen is still in 11th where he started. Not a bad run for the nine. Does he have a battle for 15th year again with Jack LaFlair and Luca Moriana? No, we had we had a little bit of contact on the first lap start. Yeah. As coming into these final couple corners, it'll be the white flag. He's not going to win, but that 21 car had a very good run at Daytona. He is definitely a championship contender. Hmm? Yeah. Mm hmm Do we get any close racing at the moment? Everyone's running their own race. Here's a little thing if you like watching battles for 20 seconds. Well, look at the position. This five car was passed this lap and we didn't notice it. There is Hayden Cola Giovanni. Coming off the final corner, it'll be one lap to go for the 15 of Addison Stone. End of the chicane.
off the chicane. He still has about a minute and a half left ahead of him. That's a lot of time to make a mistake like going wide into a wall or blowing a tire. But the 15's been perfect the first 10 and a half laps. Why can't he be perfect just for another couple corners? No challenge for second from the 21 either. And pretty much no challenge from anyone for any position in the top 10 right now. In the back though, that's where the closer racing is happening. But even then, they're not too close together here either. And then, of course, we have the 43. Addy Spoda. Addison Stone's lap times so are three seconds faster than that 43. You can't even see the other drivers. His lead is 6.5 seconds. And it's just been... If this was real NASCAR, this is probably something that Kyle Larson would do. It's been a Kyle Larson day for Allison Stone, rounding these last couple corners. This Napa car is fast on these road courses. He was running good at Daytona. He had that issue on the pit road that put him a lap down. But off the final corner, the 15 of Addison Stone brings the Addison... Addison Stone brings a different car, but the same driver, back to victory lane at Circuit of the Americas. Here come the rest of the cars across the stripe. All single file. That was the last car. Of course, other than the 43. Who is going to come into these final couple of corners? Off the final corner, the 43 of Addy Sabota are 31st out of 31 cars. And that is our last finisher of the day. A quick reminder next week's race. We go to Richmond Raceway, the .75 mile tri-oval short track. That'll be some fun beating and banging. As for us, we're the Blitz Racing Network, signing out. Custom Cup Race 2 is concluded. Addison Stone, your winner from COTA. Join us next week for the third race of the 2022 season.